Dragons, I'm Mr. Slurno, and this is Flame, and it's Dr. Monique, and Alphonse, wow, thanks for coming on the show, guys, we're so glad you made it, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot, today's Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, it's going to be an exciting show, it's a full house, guys, this is wonderful news, but before we get going on that, let's see what Graciela has to say, take it away, Graciela. Way to go, Graciela. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 6.31 in the morning. And Dr. Monique, Alphonse, the sun is going to set at 6.09, well after 6 o'clock. This is great news, Dragons. And it's a new week, and we get to celebrate a new Positivity Project character trait, right? And this week, we're going to celebrate social intelligence. And social intelligence, it's a complicated one. And if there are dragons out there that have high levels of social intelligence, they probably understand how people are feeling. They probably have a lot of empathy. And they're probably excellent leaders. Because if you have high social intelligence, dragons, that means that you understand where people are coming from. Almost like having good perspective. But then you do something about it based on how the people are reacting or maybe the actions that they have for that particular day. Social intelligence means that you probably stay neutral and are an excellent listener. So if you think about Dr. Monique, right? High levels of intelligence and might understand the type of day that Alphonse is having and can combine it with the day that Flame is having to make a conversation a little bit brighter or more productive. Or if Alphonse has high social intelligence and he knows that Dr. Monique probably had a really rough day and Flame isn't in the best mood, that he might try to cheer them up or do something to put them in better spirits knowing that he's their friend and he wants to see them happy no matter what circumstances they're under. This week, dragons, be a really good listener, okay? Do your best to listen for cues that other people might need some help or support. It's not just about you and the other people mindset means that you are able to see the goodness in others even when they might not be their best or maybe not feeling their best and you do something about it, and then you are the goodness that they might need you to be that particular day. And then it has a ripple effect, and it goes and goes and goes, and the social intelligence grows and grows and grows. Da -da -da! It's time for the birthday box! And having good social intelligence means that if someone loves their birthday, that maybe you go out of your way to celebrate them. Or if someone wants to be shy about their birthday, that maybe you give them a little... You know, a little nudge and say, like, hey, I know it's your birthday. You're going to have a great day. Well, we celebrate birthdays here. And we've had three days where we got to get birthdays red. Right, Dragon? So let's go back to the 6th. On the 6th of March, we had Arlo Cetar. No way. Happy birthday, Arlo, in second grade. And then yesterday, on the 7th, we had Ayush. Hey, Ayush Pachacharya. Way to go, Ayush, in fifth grade. We had Jordan Romero Gonzalez. It was Jordan's birthday and Ayusha's birthday. Way to go, that pair of fifth grade boys. That's excellent. Miss Brown had a birthday yesterday. Miss Brown has been teaching so well all year in the first floor. Way to go, Miss Brown. Happy birthday to you. And then today, on the 8th, we have Mahira Dem. Welcome to Camelot, Mahira. We're so glad you're here in second grade. Happy birthday. That's a fun group of dragons. And dragons, did you know, Dr. Monique, it is Women's History Month. We're celebrating all the great things and all the pioneers and all the trailblazers that are women that did something about points in history that they wanted to make a difference in. Like Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony was an activist, one of the very first activists in the United States, and she spent the majority of her life making sure that women had equal rights, that women had the right to vote, and other freedoms that they might not have had, especially 
in the 1800s and into the 1900s. It's a fun Trivia Tuesday question. Watch this, Dragons. Ready? In 1979, 1979, the United States put Susan B. Anthony on a coin, just like we learned about the quarter and how this year there's all kinds of faces and very famous women that were famous in history. They're on the back of the quarter. Susan B. Anthony was the first ever woman on a coin in the United States. Ready? How much was that coin worth? How much is that coin worth that Susan B. Anthony was on? You think you know the answer? Put it in the box that Maria made. We'll read a couple of submissions and we'll get some right ones. You never know. So, on behalf of Blaine, on behalf of Dr. Bodhi, on behalf of Alphonse, I'm Mr. Slerno. Have an awesome Tuesday today, Dragon. Make sure you show empathy and social intelligence. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.